Will this movie be excellent? Let's see. You guys know what I did there. Come on. You know what I did. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review X-Men Days of Future Past, also known as X-Men 4. We do have Brian Singer returning to direct the film. We have the first class cast and the original cast coming together to make well, this movie. The story is about when Charles Xavier and Magneto, they have to send Wolverine into the past to try to change an event in history that really affects the mutants and the humans. The only way that's going to happen, though, is if he tries to get young Charles Xavier and young Magneto to team up together and stop it. I was really excited for X-Men Days of Future Past. It's actually my most anticipated film of this summer. I just could not wait. The trailers blew me away. The concept just looks so damn great. This is, without a doubt, the best X-Men movie ever. I completely loved and adored every single moment in this movie. It was excellent. Brian Singer, Oh my goodness, he really pulled it off. His direction was very subtle and very brilliant, and he just knew what he was doing for the material he was bringing to satisfy us audience. Everyone does a really great job. There's not a weak performance, nothing like that. Everyone is great. Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, Jennifer Lawrence, James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Ellen Page, and everyone else does do an excellent job. The cinematography looks absolutely beautiful. It's shot so well. The score in this film is breathtaking. The action sequences, even though there's not much of the action, it is very awesome. The storyline was very interesting. I love the concept of Wolverine going back into the past and meeting young Charles Xavier, young Beast, young Magneto. All of the actors just brought so much energy into their characters and you could just feel it. They really gave it their own and each of the characters in this film had enough time for screen time and the character development just felt so strong. This movie is two hours and ten minutes and I was not bored once because I was just so into the characters, the dialogue, the storytelling, the action when it is there and just everything else about this movie. Oh, it blows me away from the first scene all the way to the end. I do have to talk about Quicksilver though because that's the one you're going to see pretty much all the reviewers talk about. And everyone was really worried how the, this version of Quicksilver was going to be handled in Days of Future Past because there was a lot of complaints of how stupid he looked. Honestly, I don't have a problem with how Quicksilver looked. He looks cool in my opinion. But Quicksilver, yeah, this character kicks so much ass. He's not in this film too much, but man, he just gave it his own. His screen time when he had it never felt so wasted. And of course, there's the one scene everyone is just talking about where it's just him and this one action sequence in this kitchen around these security guards. It's in slow-mo, and oh my goodness, that is such a beautifully put scene. Peter Dinklage does a really great job as the villain and Jennifer Lawrence she does a very excellent job as Mystique. You can really feel her as this blue creature even though she's doing something really bad you could feel the emotion she has and when you are feeling for a character even if she's making a wrong decision you could still f care about her and this movie succeeds at doing that. James McAvoy is excellent. He is not the same young Charles Xavier you saw in X-Men First Class. No, this young Charles Xavier 
is like, wow, he is literally so lost because he lost everything. He lost his best friend, Eric. He lost Mystique, Raven, as his best friend. You could feel what this guy was thinking. Nicholas Holt does a really good job as Beast, actually. And one of the issues I had with X-Men First Class, to be honest, was Nicholas Holt's as Beast. Nicholas Holt does a really good job in First Class. He does a really good job with his character. Once he's Beast in that film, I wasn't feeling him as Beast, honestly. It really took me out of that film a little. And Days of Future Past, though, when he is Beast, he is freaking awesome. And I really bought him into Beast. Of course, Michael Fassbender, he's amazing as young Magneto. Uh, what else to kind of say? That guy, he's just getting better and better with his career. The movie also does a really good job just connecting with all of these X-Men films. But what I also truly appreciate about this film is just how complex the storytelling was. And this is obviously a story you had to make sure you told right and you're careful with because if you screw it up, this whole movie falls apart. The climax of the movie, I'm not going to spoil it, of course, but it has got to be the greatest climax I've ever experienced in film in a while. It was highly satisfying. I was so mind-blown, I couldn't breathe. Walking out of the theater, driving home, I was just so speechless. I saw the film in 3D too, and it's just completely pointless in 3D. Just skip it. Stay after the credits as it does connect to X-Men Apocalypse. Overall, X-Men Days of Future Past is an excellent X-Men movie. It's the best X-Men movie ever. It's one of the best films I've seen this year. Great storytelling. All of the performances are so great. Excellent direction by Brian Singer. Great writing. Just everything about this film is pure perfection. This is the first X-Men film to get my perfect rating. Four out of four stars. Go see X-Men Days of Future Past. It's just one spectacular comic book film that has such a magnificent tone to it. My most anticipated film of the summer, and I was not disappointed at all. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!